Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share to help support our channel. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the Dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Also, pick up your free blockchain-based secure Brave browser, and get paid in crypto to surf the internet today. There are many different ways to make money in crypto, the blockchain Brave browser is one of the easiest. Both the links are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today. The Ministry of Planning determines the category covered by the emergency grant. For each individual 30,000 dinars. The spokesman for the Ministry of Planning, Abdul Zahrul Hindawi, revealed on Wednesday, April 8, 2020, the category covered by the emergency grant to be distributed to citizens indicating that the grant may be 30,000 dinars for each individual. Al-Hindawi said in an interview with al Masala that the Supreme Committee for Health and Safety approved, on Tuesday, the recommendation of the Economic Remedies Committee headed by the Minister of Planning to allocate and provide 600 billion Iraqi dinars, provided as emergency grants to families affected by the curfew. He added, that the grant includes those who do not have any income from the state or who are covered by the social welfare network and they are the poor segment, indicating that this category may constitute 10 million Iraqis and will announce the mechanism for distributing grants and preparing the coverage during the coming hours. Al-Hindawi emphasized that determining the share of each individual is left to the included number. If we talk about 10 million people, the share of each individual is 30,000 dinars, and the family of five members will have a share of 150,000. Next article of interest. Financial Advisor. Iraq is committed to fulfilling its financial obligations and obtaining creditworthiness. The Financial Advisor to the Prime Minister, Maza R. Mohammed Sali, confirmed on Wednesday, Iraq's commitment to fulfill the financial pledges in its specific timetable, which made it gain creditworthiness. Saleh said in a statement to the official agency, followed by NAS, today, April 8, 2020, that Iraq has gained the confidence of the capital markets and global banks who currently undertake financial engagement services, whether in managing money and repayments for the interest of Iraq or managing payments of external debt service and paying it in favor of international creditors which prepare the board to test Iraq's creditworthiness and strength in adhering to its obligations and agreements. He added that, despite the difficulties experienced by the country over the past years, Iraq is fully committed to paying off the financial loans regularly and that has led to the sustainability of stability when assessing its creditworthiness. He explained that, since the implementation of the provisions of the Paris Club Agreement to settle the Iraqi debt for the pre-1990 stage as well as the subsequent borrowings during the financial and security crisis against ISIS gangs in the year 2014, all of them have gone and are still on a consistent and straightforward approach to external financial dealings and with a solid regularity between the two departments of public debt in a ministry finance and a central bank as well as paying the dues of foreign oil companies, which undertake the development of oil fields within the payment dates. He continued that, Iraq's commitment to pay the loans enabled it to obtain a stable credit rating since the start of the credit rating for Iraq in the year 2015, noting that, it is the first time in the financial history of Iraq that the credit rating is entered among the countries of the world which was reflected positively mostly in the stability the yields levels on the Iraqi European bonds, the Tigris and Euphrates, as well as the European Iraqi bond named Iraq-2028 in the capital markets operating in the major metropolitan centers. Next article of interest. Al Zarfi presents a financial philosophy for the annual budget that is free of oil revenues. The Iraqi Prime Minister-designate Adnan al-Zorfi announced, on Wednesday, that the next government will work to combat widespread blackmail and corruption in important projects, stressing the existence of an economic and financial philosophy that the annual financial budget be without oil revenues.
Al-Zarfi stressed during his meeting with the heads of federations and unions the importance of tackling bureaucracy and the killer routine in state departments and institutions and the need to respect time and provide all support and facilities to owners of companies and projects to advance the country economically. Al-Zarfi stressed the great role of these unions and unions in their active role in building the country during the next stage. Noting that, the next government will work hard to combat extortion and financial corruption rampant in important projects, stressing the existence of an economic and financial philosophy that the annual financial budget be without returns oil. He added, we have accurate statistics and indicators on the reality of women and on the health, educational, and economic sectors, the private sector, and others. Every sector has precise strategies and plans to advance it. In turn, union and union presidents gave a presentation on their work, their future plans and the obstacles that prevented the development of this work. Al-Zarfi also met with Minister of Finance Fuad Hussein, and during the meeting, according to a statement by the Al-Zarfi office, they discussed the developments of the political, economic and financial conditions and the effects of the corona pandemic on the economy in Iraq and the countries of the world. The financial situation of the country was examined, the implications of low oil prices and the measures to be taken to secure the necessary needs during the coming period. In another aspect of the meeting, the political file and the consultations of the political blocs to form the government were discussed and the importance of expediting the formation of a government was undertaken to face the many challenges that the country is going through and the transition to the stage of economic development, construction and investment. Next article of interest. Pompeo, Washington plans to start a strategic dialogue with Iraq in mid-June. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that the U.S. administration plans to open a strategic dialogue with Iraq in the middle of next June, and that his designation for the head of the negotiating delegation, David Hill, is the third man in the U.S. State Department, indicating that an agreement has been reached with Baghdad on the issue and the date. He added, the importance of the Iraqi government's commitment to the reform process necessary to build a sovereign Iraq that is independent from the sectarian pattern that has led to corruption and terrorism. He clarified that the dialogue should rise on the basis of such criteria that Washington wants to enter into a strategic dialogue with Iraq to confront the violence and the threats that the return of terrorism might bring. The minister stressed what he called the Trump administration's message, which was built from the start on the basis of ensuring a political path for Iraq going forward. And, at the end of January 2020, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo indicated that discussions with many Iraqi leaders continued about Washington's support for the fight against ISIS. They explained that they are constantly discussing with many Iraqi and Kurdish leaders, all of whom express their support for the fight against the criminal organization ISIS. The House of Representatives approved, earlier, a decision committing the government to work to end the presence of any foreign forces on Iraqi soil, and this came during an extraordinary session in the presence of the head of the caretaker government, Adel Abdul Mahdi. The discussion of removing the 5,200 American forces from the country comes after the assassination of the head of the Iranian Quds force, Qasem Soleimani and Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis, deputy head of the Iraqi Popular Mobilization Organization, along with eight others. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest videos are posted. Be sure to check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I also update on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off of checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program, if you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold. You risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, 
which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. All of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now. The Denarian.